anyone that has been following this channel for a while knows that I am a big fan of abandoned locations, and I always make sure we visit at least one spot on each trip. <sighs> this is very nice. Tunisia is full of history, and with history comes ruins and abandoned villages. It wasn't too difficult to find some of these, but it was definitely hard to pick which ones I wanted to visit. But ultimately, I decided to stick with Zriba el Alia, also known as Zriba Olia, an ancient abandoned Berber village with a glorious past built between two rocky mountain peaks. When we arrived, there was no one else on site, apart from a few locals and their lovely pets. He doesn't care. Oh, oh. <laughs> From what I could gather, there's only around 45 families living here, totaling about 20 people, who refuse to move and continue to enjoy their life up in the mountains, now certainly a lot quieter than before. We have met some uh, villagers. Can I say villagers? We saw a, a donkey. And yes, as you can tell, I am unable to hike and talk properly at the same time. <sighs> Once a prosperous commercial center with fertile lands, the importance of the village started decreasing after the Arab conquest in the 7th century and became particularly deserted around the 1960s when most villagers left to pursue a better life in Hamans River. So there are two different places where you can go up to the top. We're going to the highest one first. And obviously you have different views to the village from both ends. From the village from the other side, you can hike up. You can also come this way, so to be honest, either way. Uh, if you come from the other side, you can see the arrows pointing at this direction, and that's where we're gonna go all the way up to the top. I bought some uh, hiking sandals. It's the first time I'm trying them. Uh, and we're putting them to the test now, and they're actually very good. They have a very strong uh, grip. I'm liking them, and they're doing a great job so far. I think we're almost at the top. And I got stuck. All good, my dress got stuck, but it's unstuck now. The views from this corner are already nice. You can hear the donkey. Almost, almost. <laughs> oh, we've made it. Okay. Wow. So getting to the top looks a bit harder than it is. You still have to do a bit of scrambling, but it's fine. Just don't come with the dress. Leah just spotted that there is mint um, everywhere. Did it just... Uh-huh. I don't know. They're attacking each other. Oh goodness, it's two against one. What happened? Oh no, there they go again. The views are absolutely incredible, and the quietness of the mountains, as well as lack of people around, makes this ancient Berber village a true hidden gem in the country. Can't wait too much, I can't 
guess I got caught up Can someone make this headache go away? Okay, so a couple of things to uh, consider when you explore this place. Please make sure you double check which place exactly you put on Google Maps. There is a town or a city, which name is basically the beginning of the name of this village. And it's located in a county or an area which name is the second bit of this village. So when you put it on Google Maps, there is a high chance that it's going to take you somewhere else. So what you do, you put on Google Maps and then double check on satellite mode if it looks like a small village or if it looks like a town. If it does, then correct the name so you can find the correct one. And the second thing is the fact that Google Maps will send you through some dirt roads. So I would recommend going again on satellite mode, check uh, how is the road that you're going to. So if you follow road of Zriba, Zriba El Alia, I'm not sure if I'm even pronouncing this correctly. Uh, so if you follow that road that will take you here, so avoid just going uh, the other way around, which is what Google Maps will probably ask you to do if you come from the same place that we did. I would highly recommend visiting Zriba El Alia at sunset due to its incredible views during golden hour which we sadly couldn't do due to our intense itinerary, as it happens most times. <laughs> Thank you so much for sticking with me till the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you would like to have access to a Tunisia map full of hidden gems, just like this one, make sure to check the link in the description. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye! We should be fine. Hiya. How are you doing? Good, you? Good. You said your friend said you're doing some recording. Yes.